Hello, and welcome to another Skybits training module. This training session will cover how to send a page request to your mobile asset. Both the page request and the Activate Panic feature are used to request unscheduled position reports. An Activate Panic command will cause the asset to report a position approximately every 3 to 5 minutes, depending on the unit, for up to 24 hours, unless it is canceled. A page request returns one position report. Once a command has been issued from Insight, in most cases it will be executed the next time the asset wakes up. There is no way for the user or Skybits to force an asset to wake up. The wake up frequency for your assets may be different. However, a common wake up frequency for dedicated tracking units is two hours. Most smart sensor units are configured with a two hour wake up schedule while moving and 12 hours when stopped. Tethered or powered GXT units report a position during start and stop events and every 15 minutes while moving. Untethered or unpowered GXT units typically report a position during a stop or start event and every 7 days when not moving. When a page command is requested, you can be anywhere in the wake up cycle and Insight will let you know when the asset is scheduled to wake up and return the unscheduled position report. As you will see, there are several ways to send a page request to an asset. Let's see how this feature is accessed using Insight. First, we will use the Quick Select menu located in the upper right corner of Insight. You can also access this feature from Locate Assets, Locate Assets Home. Locate the Quick Select box in the upper right corner of Insight and enter an asset ID. The Quick Select dropdown offers several frequently used options. Display Status, Request Page, Change Profile, Activate Panic, Battery Status, Asset Details, or Cancel Panic. Now select Request Page and click Go. A confirmation message is displayed. Click OK. The request page command will be sent to the designated asset ID during its next wake up time. The quick select feature can be accessed through the Locate Assets tab, Locate Assets Home. First, select the Locate Assets tab and drop down to Locate Assets Home. From the quick select menu, enter an asset ID. Then select Request Page. You could also select Battery Status and more. These commands will be sent to the designated asset, and Insight will return the next wake up time. Another way to request page is through Contact Assets. Using this feature, a user can search for and designate a specific asset by asset ID, mobile terminal serial number, or an asset ID in a group. Click on Contact Assets and point your cursor to Paging. A third menu will appear. Select Request Page. Use the drop down menu to select Asset ID or simply enter a partial number in the Asset ID Contains box to display the full Asset ID. When the full Asset ID is displayed, select Request Page. This search method can also contact an asset by using its mobile terminal serial number or by group association. Click the Info button to return the next scheduled wake up time for the asset. Another way to request page is from any position report. Simply click the required mobile terminal asset box in the report table and click Page Terminals. If desired, click the Notify on Page Completion checkbox and then select OK. A confirmation message along with the next wake up time will be returned. A page request can be canceled prior to going active. Go to Contact Assets and drop down to Paging. Click on Cancel Page. Select the Asset ID and click on Display. Click the Select MT box and click on Cancel Page located below the table. A message indicates displaying results of cancel page requests. From Contact Assets, you can view historical paging information. Go to Contact Assets, drop down to Paging, and select View Page. Select All Assets and click Display. The page request data is displayed. 
To look at a paging response, open the latest position report for the asset using Quick Select or by using the Locate Asset method. Thank you, and please contact SkyBits Customer Care with any questions regarding this feature.